even if you had all the top of the line strategies and you know the best marketing tools and you know everything you needed to get your business going if you don't constantly develop this one crucial aspect of your business you'll probably never get to take it to the next level in fact you'd be lucky if you can get your business going let's talk about it Hey guys, Jay Lamar Farron here from realestateinvestorfunds.com and I want to personally thank you for coming over to my YouTube channel and checking out this video. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I do want to tell you a little bit about myself and you know before I dive into this video, all right? Uh, again, my name is Jay Lamar Farron. I'm an online marketer and a real estate investor out of Woodbridge, Virginia, 25 years old, originally from New Jersey. I grew up in New Jersey for about 18 years. You know, that I was in the military, I actually met my wife, Mary. Uh, we've been married for about six years now, and we have three children, ages six years old, three years old, and one month old. Now, also, while I was in the military, I started my first real estate investing business, as well as uh, home-based businesses I was involved in. And, you know, I've become pretty successful with those businesses along the way. But it was not that easy, all right? I'm going to tell you straight up, it was not that easy. In fact, uh, the first, before I even got started in real estate investing, the first home-based business I got involved in was a complete disaster, all right? And, you know, basically, you are promoting consumer products over the Internet. You know, you can get them normally offline, but these are products that you can get online. They are much higher quality and... You know, I was doing everything my sponsors told me to do in order to promote this business, all right? I was doing door-to-door -door marketing. I was uh, doing in-home presentations. I was doing mall presentations. And I didn't get any leads to sign up for my business, you know what I mean? And I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. I was getting so frustrated. And I just quit that business and, you know, because it wasn't doing anything for me but wasting my time. And I actually got into real estate investing. Creative real estate investing was very attractive to me you know basically you are able to buy a home with no money down uh, no little to no money down no credit check and you know basically when I saw this at the real estate investing course so you can basically do a deal in 30 days and I, I got so excited I got so pumped and you know I purchased the course right away and you know I dove right into it I read the entire course in like a day and a half but after reading this course and after getting everything I needed to get ready I you know pretty much get stopped dead in my tracks all right, and the reason is because all this fear started kicking in, right? And basically, I started, you know, analyzing everything I was doing, you know, and I, I didn't want to mess up. And, you know, I did this for like two years, all right? I didn't do anything with my real estate investing business for two whole years. I was supposed to purchase this course and be able to do a deal in 48 hours, all right? And that was the goal I set for myself because I saw, you know, a testimony where somebody else did it and I said, you know what? I need to do this. I can do this too. And like I said, two days turned into two years. I mean, the course was great, but, you know, I was, again, I was so afraid to mess up that I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't taking any action. And, you know, it's, it gets very frustrating when, you know, you're not making any progress, especially for two years. Anyway, enough about me and how I used to be. You're probably here because you have yet to make your first real estate deal or, you know, that first sale in your home-based business. Or maybe you have made a couple of real estate deals or a couple of sales and, you know, you do got a couple under your belt, but the income isn't coming in like you want it to. Or maybe you've, you know, reached a point in your business where you feel you've done everything you possibly can to become successful and nothing's working. Well, I'm here to tell you today that it's okay. It doesn't matter where you're at today because it doesn't mean that you'll have to be in the same place tomorrow or two weeks from now. All right. My mentor always told me that your past does not equal your future. All right. So, I mean, there are literally things you can start doing right now to, you know, start seeing immediate changes in your life. And now when I say immediate, I'm not talking about overnight, you know, but I am talking about things that you can do right now. First, get a mentor or a coach, you know, someone to keep you accountable and, you know, guide you down that right path. All right. 
when I first got started and I tried to go at it on my own and I didn't see any income or any progress. All right. So get a mentor, get a coach, you know, somebody that can help you that's you know within your niche. All right. Next, surround yourself with success minded individuals. I can't tell you how crucial that is. So you keep surrounding yourself with negative people and people that tell you you're doing too much. You should just concentrate on your nine to five job. Those aren't the people that you want to be around. Be around people that are going to keep you motivated and keep pushing you forward. Give you ideas that you can, uh, you know, leverage off of and, you know, bring your business to the next level. All right. Those are the people that you need to surround yourself with at all times. All right. And you can find them in places like Facebook, or Twitter, or MySpace, you know, social networking sites that you can get involved with. Um, there's so many online, all right? And also, you can go to your local meetings in your area, all right? In your local area. You can go to networking meetings and real estate investing meetings. And, you know, probably one of the best places that I know of to find, uh, you know, people in your area is uh, www.meetup.com, all right? It's a great website where you can find local meetings in your area, all right? Make marketing a top priority, all right? If you don't make marketing a top priority in your business, you'll barely see any leads. All right? You might see some leads, but you won't see as much leads as you should be for a business. All right? You need to treat this like a business, not like a hobby. Hobby results give you little to no income. All right? Now, unless I'm wrong, you know, continue to do what you do. But you know, from what I've seen, if you treat it like a hobby, you'll see little to no results. So treat it like a business and make marketing your top priority. Last but not least, the most important lesson Overall, all right, if you don't develop this crucial aspect of your business, you probably never make it to the next level. And if you do, you, you're very lucky, all right? So develop your mindset, all right? You need to develop your mindset. That's what exactly what held me back for two years was not developing my mindset because I was in the wrong mind frame, analyzing any and everything, you know, getting there. What if this goes wrong? What if that goes wrong? I did not develop my mindset. And once you do that, you'll be able to do what needs to be done. All right. So now that you know more about me and some of the lessons I've learned over the years and, you know, how important mindset is to your business and what that can actually do for you, I'm going to give you a free gift just for watching this video all the way through. All you need to do to claim that gift is just go ahead and click the link in the description and um, you know you can claim that free gift. Or you can give me a call about this special real estate investing opportunity or this special home-based business opportunity that I'm involved with and you know we can kind of talk about that. But let me warn you that I'm only looking to talk to serious people. I'm not looking to talk to everybody. I definitely don't want to talk to any whiners or anybody that's looking for a get rich quick type deal. You know, I'm not into any of that stuff, so do not call me if you're into that. The type of people that I'm looking for that are involved in the opportunities that I'm involved in are those that can dedicate themselves to being the best. And I only want to work with the best, all right? So if, if you're in that category, give me a call. If you're not, don't give me a call, all right? That easy. All right, again, I want to thank you for watching, you know, my first real estate video for my YouTube channel. And I want to encourage you to go ahead and comment, rate, you know, subscribe to these videos. And of course, again, go ahead and check out the link in the description for your free gift just for watching this video all the way through. And tell me what you think about mindset, how it has affected you in a positive way or a negative way, whatever. Just leave a comment, all right, and tell me what you think.